When I say the hungry should have food, I speak for many. When I say no one should have seven homes, or some don't have any, though I may find myself stranded in some strange place with not but a vapid stare, I remember the world and I know we are everywhere. When I say the time for the witcher will come, let me count the ways. Victories are hints of the future, of honor, caracas, chiapas, but as I always. How many people wanting and waiting and fighting for their share? They hide in their ivory towers, but we are everywhere. Concentration camps, prisons, and races, borders, and nations. FBI agents and congressmen and corporate radio stations. They try to keep us apart, but we find each other, and the ruler is always aware that they are a tiny minority, and we are everywhere. With every bomb that they drop, every home they destroy, every land they invade, comes a new generation from under the rubble saying, We are not afraid. They will pretend we are few, but with each child that a billion mothers bear, comes the next demonstration that we are everywhere. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. So for about a year, I camped out in Occupy Pittsburgh. We took a bus to D.C. to help out with the Occupy D.C. We walked around the camp, found a place to sleep, and we went to the, we went to the protest march. I found myself teleporting to Europe, maybe England, and we clasped hands to each other, clasped legs, closed our eyes. We had bandanas around our, our faces because we're anarchists. Hippie, an hippies, anarchists, homeless people, people seeking freedom and hope, hoping to come alive with the revolution, the beginning of the second coming. And they spread pepper spray, but our eyes were closed, so it didn't hurt us at all. Nothing could hurt us. Then they arrested us, and it was civil disobedience. They tied our hands together with zap ties. I don't know what you call them, but then they took them off. I was FTM at the time, so I went to the mail prison. After I did push-ups in the cell as many as I could. Then I got out, met Fluffy, but it was really someone else. I don't know if it was Steven or not. But then we went to stay at this woman's house. We watched The Matrix. And I fell asleep while watching. Then, then Fluffy and the other people I was staying with smoked some cigarettes. We went back to the D.C. camp, went to a museum, I gathered my stuff together and we went back on the bus back to Pittsburgh and I somehow got to my house in Bloomfield, PA. Anyways, anarchist, activists, hippies, homeless people, socialists, archangels, we all gathered together to protest the concentration camps, the evil British cops that cut thumbs off, and concentration camps. I said that and jails, all the millions of people being framed for things they didn't do because the, the real evil people get out. They, they frame people and it works. And the, and the rulers that make new laws and it says that the presidents can run again and again and again and they become dictators. And what does prime minister mean anyways? It's just another word for dictator. It's somewhere in between president and dictator. But I want a king, Jesus. I'm an anarcho-monarchist Christian. I'm a Christian anarcho-monarchist. I want one king, Jesus, when all the all the planets, all of the continents, all of the countries, one law, this, the Bible, Jesus, Lord and Savior, one law, everything in this book, read this book and you're good to go. And the in the Old Testament, it tells you the Ten Commandments. Some of them are do not kill, do not commit adultery, and rape is adultery. 
do not steal, do not fornicate, stuff like that. Do not masturbate. Save yourself for your soulmate. Don't masturbate and don't cheat and don't date someone that's not your soulmate. Wait, pray about it, and meditate. We're everywhere. Christians, anarchists, hippies, we'll all come together because in our hearts, we're all Christian because this is the second coming. And if someone was, didn't have faith, some amount of faith, people with some faith on their way to Christianity stay on earth. People who are true Christian, all angels, all Christian, humans, fairies, elves, sprites, hobbits, we stay in heaven and we go, all angels go back and forth. We Christians and people who are about to become Christians stay on earth. Truly evil people go to hell. It's the second coming. So wake up and dream and be and breathe and participate in the second coming. Because the 99% movement was part of the second coming. Because it's evil to let someone stay homeless. It's evil not to feed someone who needs food. It's evil for the rulers to steal for the people who really need food. That's it. Bye.